ओम शुक्लांबरधरम विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदनम ध्यात सर्विघ्नोपात सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्य वरदे कामिणी वेद्यारंभम क्या सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा ये न्यायम्य महेशरा कृत्न व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पानी नए नम वाक्यकार वरुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणिनी सूत्रकार प्रणतस्मी मुनि वागर्थाव संपृक्त वागर्थ प्रतिपत जगत पिता वंदे पार्वती परमेशर ओ शाते शाति हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं Om Namaste, everyone. Welcome to class. Nice to see everyone. See. Namaste. Namaste. So I'll um, share the screen. So uh, this one, this one. Okay. So we're back on the screen. So this was our our warm up for today. We were just looking at Hari and Guru Shabda. So last time in our class, we were looking at. Sunday, and we were completing our Sunday exercises for Vowel Sunday. Um, so we're gonna take a little pause from Sunday and come back to our Prati Padikas, right? We know in Sanskrit there's only two types of words, right? There's Tingantam and Subantam. There's a, Tingantam is a verb, Subantam is a noun. In a noun, right? There's two things. This prati padikam plus sup pratyaya. So what we've been doing is we've been going through all these different prati padikas and adding the twenty-one different sup pratyas to make all of these forms. Now, right now we can look at hari shabda and guru shabda. So let's practice these together. So you can say them along with me. I'll try to go slowly. Hari he. Hari, Hariyaha, Harim, Hari, Harin, Harina, Hari Bhiham, Hari Bhi, Haraye, fourth case, Hari Bhiham, Hari Bhiha, Hare, Harehe, Hari, Hari Bhiham, Hari Bhiha, and sixth case, again, Harehe. Hariyo ho, Harinam. Seventh case, Haro. Hariyo ho, Hari shu. He, Hare. He, Hari. He, Hariyaha. Okay, Guru Shabda is very similar. So again, yeah, I think we're have to remove all the cobwebs from our brain. This is a long time ago that we've been looking at this. So we're just going to refresh these um, over and over again, and we're going to learn some new ones. So make sure we we have to stay, kind of stick with it. Uh, Guru Shabda. So Guru Shabda is Ukaranta Punlinga. So we're, all of these are ma masculine words. This is U ending. It's very similar to Hari Shabda. So Guru Hu, Guru, Guravaha, Gurum, Guru. And this is on page one hundred and five of your book. Okay, so second case: Gurum, Guru, Gurun, Guruna, Guru Bhiam, Guru Bhi. Fourth case: Gurave, Guru Bhiam, Guru Bhiha. Fifth case: Guruho, Guru Bhiam, Guru. Yeah. Sixth case, 
Guru Ho, Guru Bhyam. No, six case, right? <laughs> Guru Ho, Guru Ho, Guru Nam. Seventh case, Gurau, Guru Ho, Guru Shu. Hey, hey, Gurau, hey, Gurau, hey, Guru, hey, Gurava. Okay. So we'll keep practicing this. Even I was a little bit, uh, a little bit, um, need some more practice in Guru Shabda. So it's okay. We just keep refreshing these. And the idea is when we see these in our Vedanta texts, right, we should be able to identify them quickly, right? So even if they're not, you know, the idea is we should be able to recognize these from our texts, some of these words. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump ahead. So the next, if you look in the next, flip the page, there's Kartra Shabda, that's page 106. Kartra Shabda is kind of complicated. <laughs> it's actually quite complicated. We're going to put Kartra Shabda on pause right now. Okay. And we'll come back to it eventually. We're going to, we're going to go to page 109, which is Ganga Shabda. So 109, Ganga Shabda. That's A ending feminine. So just like what you see on the screen, right? We're talking about akaranta, a ending, strilinga. So we finally reached our, our feminine words, right? So we, we need to come back to kartra, but we're gonna jump into this feminine a ending that we see here. So usually in Sanskrit textbooks, you'll see rama. Rama, Rama, right? And that will be the A ending. But this is this is really Sanskrit for Vedanta students. So instead of Rama, we say Ganga, because it's so much better to be chanting the name of Ganga <laughs> than than some late some someone's name who's Rama. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna chant Ganga. Rama is also Sita. Yeah, Rama is Lakshmi. <laughs> That's true, that's true. So I appreciate that correction, yeah. So Rama is also Sita. So we could, that, that's also perfectly fine. I think this is probably because um, we chant Ganga Stotram a lot in our Shavidya, so Ganga. Uh, Mama Daya, can I ask one quick question? Yeah, go ahead, jump in. Okay, when you said, uh, when, you, when there's a Visarga, um, mm -hmm. the, you, I heard, the Visarga get the last um, oval, oval of the word. For example, you said Guru Ho. How, how can it be? How is it Guru Ho? Yeah, so it, so the Visarga kind of, so uh, Visarga kind of mirrors the sound before it. So if you have an O and yeah. then Visarga, yeah. it becomes O Ho. Guru Ho. Okay. So, so that's how you just pronounce that. So you get aha, uh -huh, ihi, uhu, and you get if you a, it's ehe, and then oho, so those kind of sounds. I don't follow you, sir. So if I have, right. If I have O and then Visarga, right? This sound is O. And then it's going to be pronounced like this, Oho. Oh. It's just going to mirror the sound before it. Oh, 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 oh I see. Okay. Hmm. I, I, okay. Yeah. Um. Is that feeling okay? There? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to, we're coming back to Ganga Shabda here in Sri Linga Feminine, right? There's a note at the top of the page and it says that there's no 
a uh, ending. No, there's no short a uh, ending feminine in Sri Lanka, in feminine, right? So there's no short a uh, ending. Pratipadika. We always start with a uh, ending Pratipadika. That's the basis for all declensions of vowel ending feminine Pratipadika. So we always start with this a uh, ending. Now this ending letter A, uh, this is not really so important for us, but the ending letter A uh, in this section is actually comes from a feminine suffix of A. Uh. So all of these words technically before they were formed, a feminine suffix A uh, was added to them. Okay, so it was, uh, there's the suffix A uh, that gets added to every single a uh, ending word, right? So there's suffix a uh, that gets added and that's what one makes these. Now, we're not forming these words, so that's not as important. We're just gonna see them as they are. So what I wanna do is, is first let's chant this and then we're going to break down case by case. Because now we're in a whole different ball game, right? We've been in, in masculine for so long, right? And so the format of masculine is slightly different than the format of feminine that we're gonna see here. So we have to, we have to basically um, start, start with this new uh, foundation. So I'll chant the first case, then you chant them after me, okay? So. Ganga, Gange, Ganga ha. Gange, Ganga ha. Then Gangam, Gange, Ganga ha. Gange, Ganga ha. Then third case Gangaya, Ganga Bhyam, Ganga Bihi. You can repeat them. Fourth case, Ganga Yai, Ganga Bhyam, Ganga Bhyaha. Fifth case, Ganga Yaha, Ganga Bhyam, Ganga Bhyaha. Yaha. Ganga Bhyam, Ganga Bhyaha. So sixth case now. Ganga Yaha, Ganga Yoho, Ganga Nam. Again, Ganga Yaha, Ganga Yaha, Ganga Yoho, Ganga Nam. Seventh case. Ganga Yam, Ganga Yoho, Ganga Su. Again, Ganga Yam, Ganga Yo Ho, Ganga Su. He, Gange, He, Gange, He, Ganga Ha. Again, He, Gange, He, Gange, He, Ganga Ha. Okay. So, and, and we'll see some of these words as we're declining, but just, you know, we, we see a lot of these commonly in Vedanta, right? We see um, guha, right? Har, the, 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 the cave of the heart, we'll see guha often, right? Nishta, firmness and knowledge, mala, right? Some of these, you, you see, these are all very common words, right? Shraddha, Diksha, daya, Dasha, Devata, these are all feminine words, right? So all of these words, we need to become familiar with them. They're all feminine words. Okay, so let's, let's look at just the first case so far and we'll come back to some of those vocabulary as we go along. One, one is going to look exactly like the Pratipadika. So what's the Pratipadika here? 
Ganga, right? So let me make this a little bit there. So it's just going to be Ganga. In one, two, the last A uh, is replaced by A. So this is also in your book. This is all, I think, page 110, 110 or so. Um, this is all there, maybe 111, 110 or 111. You'll see all of these, how to break it down. So in one, two, the last A uh, is replaced by A. So instead of Ganga, it's Gange. And in one, three, the Visarga is added at the end. Ganga. So Ganga, Gange, Ganga. Say it again. Ganga, Gange, Ganga. We're going to repeat it until we throw up. <laughs> we want to want to get this practice. We want to get this practice. I shouldn't. Yeah, we're not going to throw up. <laughs> That's not should be. But we're going to uh, just keep practicing this. Um, you can even open your uh, workbook in your workbook. If you have that with you, look in the index and you can find Ganga Shabda. Um, for me, that's page 82, but I'm not sure if it's the same page for you all, okay? So again, right, it is Ganga. Gange, Ganga. All right. So in the second case, dvitiya vibhaktihi, just a makara is added at the end of two, one. Right, and we see this kind of commonly, right? We've installed this in masculine, a lot of times that ma is ending, added at the end. So here would be gangam. Two, two is always the same as one, two for any Pratipadeka, right? Gangam, then what was, what was one, two? Gange. And in two, three, Visarga is added at the end instead of Nakara, right? Instead of like um, Harin, for example, right? It's going to be the same as one three. Okay, so do we remember the first case? Ganga, Gange, Ganga. Now we just had a ma. Gangam, Gange. Gangaha. So they're so similar, right? They're very similar. So now let's um, let's practice one more. Let's practice guha in those two first two cases. Okay. Guha. Guhe. Guha ha. Right, then Guham Guhe Guhaha. Guhan. Nope, it's the same, just like Ganga. -ha. We just had to be sort of 
Um, Mahodaya, quick question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. The, in 2-1, it ends with a makara. Is mm -hmm. the, I mean, in all, almost all the words I have seen, 2-1 ends with a makara, whether it is feminine word or masculine or a, uh, a neutral. Am I correct? Yeah, most of the times. There is a base format for all suffixes. And, but they have a lot of changes. So that's why we haven't seen that. But two, one is um. You always yeah. say um. Correct. So that's why you always see that makara too. Okay. okay. Just okay. like you also see commonalities, byam, bihi, byam, bihi, right? Those are very common also. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So let's look at one more. Let's do nidra. Nidra, or let's say it together. Nidra, nidre, nidra. nidra. Huh. Then to second case, nidram, nidre, nidra. Huh. Okay, let's look at third case now. Right, we're going slow just so we make sure we get this. Three, one. The last a ah is shortened and ya is added. Okay, so what that means is a uh, is shortened, so it's ganga, ganga, and then we add ya. Okay, so it's ganga ya. It is not ganga ya. Okay, there's a, those are two diff. That's that would two different. That would be wrong, right? It's like saying mala or mala. <laughs> Those are two very two different meanings. One means a flower garland, other means dirt. <laughs> Those uhs are very important. So gangaya. In three two and three three, byam and bihi are added, right? So Ganga Bhyam. And Ganga Bhi. Okay. So let's pick up a, um, you can keep a, right, we were seeing Guha. Guha, let's start with the first case. Guha, Guhe, Guhaha, Guham, Guhe, Guhaha. Third case, okay. Then what is it? Guhaya, Guhabhyam, Guhabhi. Okay, let's take a mala, mala. Okay, mala. Male, malaha, ma, malam, male, malaha, right? Malaya, malabhyam, malabhi. Okay, feeling good? Fourth case. In 4 1, yai is suffixed. Yai is suffixed. So, and this is again, it says it makes a specific note. This yai is special to a uh, ending feminine words. So we have Ganga. Yay. Ganga yay. Four two is the same as three two for essentially any pratipadika. Ganga bihi.
and Ganga Biaha. Okay? Ganga Yei, Ganga Bihi, Ganga Biaha. Okay, let's do Guha no, for the No, no, no. It, the 3 2 is not correct. Three, three, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this Ganga should say. Biham. But this is this is correct. So four two is the same as three two. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, correct. Sorry. Thank you. No problem. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. Ganga Biham. Ganga Biham. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we have <laughs> Ganga Ye, Ganga Biham, Ganga Biha. I've been looking at this so much that I think it <laughs> I'm just all swirling today. Ganga ye, Ganga bhyam, Ganga bhya. So let's pick up guha, right? Fourth case. Guha ye, Guha bhyam, Guha bhya. Okay. Let's pick up, uh, let's take up another word. Um, I have nidra. Nidra means sleep. Okay. Nidra means sleep. So start with first case. Nidra, nidre, nidraha. Nidram, nidre, nidraha. Nidraya. Nidra Bhyam Nidra Bihi. Fourth case Nidra Yai Nidra Bhyam Nidra Bhya. Okay, did you go into Nidra? <laughs> no. Okay, you didn't fall asleep there. Nidra, okay. Gonna shift screens here. Actually, let me come back to that. So I the so you can look in your book. These are continuing on page 110. For some reason it got deleted off my page, but I'm just gonna write it here. So in fifth case, in five one, right? In five one. Yaha is suffixed. So this would look like Ganga Yaha. Ganga Yaha. Ganga Yaha. Right, then we're looking at five two and five three which are the same as four, two and four, three, right? So, Ganga, Bhyam, and Ganga, Bhyaha. Okay, because five two five three are same as four two four three. So let's let's chant uh, five one. Ganga yaha, Ganga bhyam, Ganga bhyaha. Okay, now guha. Guha yaha, guha bhyam. Guha bia. Okay. If we pick up another word, let's say uh, avastha. Avastha means a state. 
right? Jagrat avastha, the st waking state, for example. So avastha, okay? So avastha, avasthe, avasthaha, second case. Avastham, avasthe, avasthaha, right? Then avasthaya, avasthabhyam. Okay, again, three one is avasthaya, avasthabhyam, then avasthabhi. Fourth case, avasthayai, avasthabhyam, avasthabhya. Fifth case, avasthayaha, avasthabhyam, so just you want to notice that three one is Gangaya and five one is Gangayaha. There's a little bit, there's one that first a uh, does not get short. Okay, so in three one, the first a uh, gets short. The, the end of Ganga gets short, and then we add ya. In this five one, that a uh, stays long. Okay, so just, just pay attention to that. Then we look at 6-2, 6 So in 6-1, yaha, so this is the same as 5-1. 6-1 and 5-1 are exactly the same, so Gangayaha six two last ah uh, is shortened the last ah uh, is shortened and Yoho is added. Okay, so then that would look like the last a uh, is short. So Ganga, Ganga, then Yoho, Ganga Yoho, Ganga Yoho. And then six three, nam is added. Depending on the word, you can get natvam, but nam is added. So, ganga nam. Oops. I mean, what? There we go. Ganga Nam. Okay, so let's let's pick up again. New a uh, one more new word. As we so we learned some vocabulary, the word jignasa. Jignasa means a desire to know. Nyatum icha to desire to know jignasa. So and a one who desires to know, it's called a jignyasu, okay? A jignyasu has jignyasa, <laughs> okay? The person is called jignyasu, but they have jignyasa, desire to know. So jignyasa, sorry, jignyasa, jignase, jignyasaha, jignyasam, Jignase, Jignasaha, third case, Jignasaya, Jignasabhyam, Jignasabhi, fourth case, what's it? Jignasayai, 
Jignasayai, right? Then Jignasabhyam, Jignasabhyaha. Fifth case. Jignasayaha. <laughs> That's a lot of letters. Jignasayaha. Jignasabhyam, Jignasabhyaha. Sixth case. Okay, you can look at the screen to help. Jignasayaha. Jignasayoho. Then Jignasana. All right, we're getting pretty good at this. And Okay, just for completion sakes, we'll we'll pick up with the seventh case in our in our next class. But you'll see that in seventh case, we're just going to add yam. So jignyasa, jig. Sorry, ganga, ganga yam, ganga yam. Then seven two is same as 6-2. And 6-2 we saw Ganga Yoho, right? And 6-3 or 7-3, sorry, we're going to add Su, not Shu, okay? Becomes Sa. So Ganga Su. He Gange, He Ganga, He, he sorry, He Gange, He Gange, He Ganga. All right, we'll pick up with this with, with this in our next class and then we'll uh, uh, start learning the meanings. We'll start doing some practice with sentences, okay? Om Shanti 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 Hariri Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hariri Om. Um, homework is to, if you have the workbook, there is Ganga there, there's Guha there, and I think there's one or two more. Make the declensions with those. If you don't have the workbook, so uh, in the workbook there's Ganga, Guha, Avastha, and Kriya. Do all four of those declensions. Write them out. If you don't have the workbook, just pick up any three or four words and write out the declensions for all of those. Make the chart. Okay.